we will review facial muscles briefly. The first one I want to point is the frontalis muscle, right here. That one starts in the cranial aponeurosis and it, ins it originates in the cranial aponeurosis and it inserts in the skin of the eyebrows. What it does, it raises the eyebrows like this. The next muscle is the orbicularis oculi and that's a round muscle around the eye. It starts in the frontal bone as well as in the maxilla and it, en and it inserts in the tissue around the eye. This one closes the eyes, like in such a way. Nextly, we go down, jump to the mouth, and now we go into the orbicularis oris, and that's a round muscle around the mouth. And that makes an O, or it closes the mouth, even makes a lip to kiss. And that muscle is, uh, it comes from the mandible and the maxilla, and it attaches into the skin around the mouth. This muscle just here above the ear, it's called the temporalis muscle. It starts in the, on the temporal bone and it inserts, it goes underneath and inserts into the mandible, the coronoid process, which is behind here, behind the masseter. This muscle is a powerful closing of the jaw, which we need to chew. Actually, if you clench your teeth together real tight, you feel it right here. You clench, non clench, and you feel it bulge. Next to that, we're going to do the masseter muscle, and that's a thick, fat muscle right on the ramus, basically, of your mandible. It starts in the zygomatic right Mark. here, and it anchors into the angle and the ramus of the mandible down in here. The zygomaticus muscle is a very interesting group of muscles. We have them uh, right here. They help us in smiling. They are attached at the zygomatic arch and then anchor into the corner of the mouse's skin. And when we raise it, we smile. So that's a good muscle to know. The boxinator, the boxinator is also very interesting. It's a fat, a very a strong muscle down in here on the cheek. Our cheek muscle, so to speak. It starts in the maxilla and in the mandible and it anchors into the orbicularis oris. This one flattens our cheek like in whistling. Then let's go into the neck a little bit. The big neck muscle is the sternocleidomastoid. Starts at the sternum, the chest plate, the clavicle on the side, and then goes right and anchors into the mastoid process, and the temporal bone. That one, if we contract them together, it flexes our neck. But if we contract them individually, the right side, for example, it contracts, it looks to the left. And you can see that sticking out right here. So opposing an action will bulge out the muscle and will show you the muscle. It's called also an isometric contraction. And lastly, the muscle we can't see on here starts at the chest fascia and anchors into the lower head, uh, uh, into the tissue around the mandible. And it's the platysma, platysma, and it tightens the neck like that. All right, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> make a face. Come on, make a face. There you go. She make a face. That's a smile. That's a big smile. But she go away with it. There, smile. Everybody smile. No, no, no. How about wink? A wink. There you go. Who knows how to make the face of the boxinator? There you go. Yeah, that's good. Raise your eyebrows. Good. <laughs> Expressions. Make a facial. There you go. Make a facial expression. <laughs> Not everybody smiling. I want to make a sad one. <laughs> there you go. Good. Oh, oh Lisa. Sad for studying. Oh, chewing, right? Facial. Yeah, chewing. Down at the bottom here. We're connected. Where are we connected? I don't know. Do the, we didn't talk about the tongue muscles. You sure did. That's that will be. Do this one. No. I did my facial expression like that. Oh, everybody was smiling. There you go. Oh dear. oh dear, that's not one. Oh, that's called sleeping. You could do facial expression. What happened when you when you close one? There you go.